Today is stage four, the Absa Cape Epic, the world's premier mountain bike stage race. Over the eight days, the 1,200 riders, both pro and amateur, will traverse the glorious Western Cape of South Africa and experience mountain biking in a unique and unparalleled setting. At 112 kilometers, stage four is one of the longer stages and will take the riders from Ilanskrofna Grayton to Oak Valley. Today's route has a nice mix of single track and farm roads, taking in 2,150 meters of climbing. On the start line in Ilanskrof, the yellow leader's jersey is again sported by Manuel Fumig and Ulrike Avancini from Cannondale Factory Racing. In Vestek Songo Specialized, Yaroslav Kulhavi and Christoph Saz are hot on their heels. Olympic and world champion Nino Schurter still keen for a win. The riders leave the Grayton region for the last time and the weather has finally cooled down. For the previous three stages, the temperatures have been over 40 degrees centigrade and finally the riders have some cloud cover. Yet again, the pace is incredible even after four days of racing and over 300 tough kilometers in their legs. The women's orange Hansgrohe leader's jersey is still with Estesus and Jenny Stenerhaag for the third day running. They have a comfortable lead over Senders Health, Sabine Spitz and Robin de Groot. Today's long stage will suit the current leaders, but Spitz and de Groot have been very impressive, winning the sprint finish on stage three. The first big climb is the aptly named Pumping Legs Trail. Centurion Vada's Nikola Robach is leading the charge until Simon Stiebjohn from Bulls 2 puts the pressure on. Tim Burma catches his fellow teammate to win the Dimension Data hotspot at the summit of the climb. The riders head through the trails of Wildekrantz and it's Hector Pais Leon, Matthijs Birkus and Max Knox that make a move but Birkus' partner Philip Bass can't keep up. It's an early break with some 80 kilometers still to go. Matthijs Birkus is dropped by Kansai Plaskon and is absorbed by the chasing peloton headed up by Alban Lakata and Christian Heinick from Topik Ergon. The riders are treated to undulating single track before the final 20 kilometers of climbs and descents with incredibly technical terrain. The pace is too much for the yellow jerseys and Manuel Fumik is starting to struggle. The two Scots Ram teams and Investic Songo attack the leading pair of Payers Leon and Knox with Schurter heading the charge. Cool Harvey continues to drive the pace, hoping to make some time on Cannondale Factory Racing in the overall standings. As the lead riders approach the Botrophy Pass water point, Kansai Plaskon have a 45 second gap on the chasing teams. Two Scots Ram Racing, Investec Songo and Cannondale. Investec Songo puncture and drop out of the chasing group. A disaster also strikes for Kansai Plaskon, who also have mechanicals. The two Scots Ram teams take the lead and maintain it through the Land Rover technical terrain, crossing the finish line together. The Scots Ram Young Guns take the victory and the yellow jerseys remain with Cannondale Factory Racing. In the women's category, Esther Suss and Jenny Stenerhaag again show their dominance and take the win on stage four, with the GC chasers have been Spitz and Robin de Groot having a bad day and settling for third after Mariska Strauss and Annie Last rolled in in second. The Hansgrohe leaders jersey staying with Mirandal Suss and Stenerhaag.